Alright, back again Luke here, and uh, today as you can see in front of me this is the old Sega STV arcade hardware, and um, you can see that I have funky head boxers in here, and if you remember a long time ago, I got this game a long time ago, and it's been sitting around forever because I haven't been able to figure out what was wrong with it. Anytime I'd play any of my other STV games, they would always play with no problem. In some cases you might get an error here and there that says uh, error on cassette, which means that the cart's probably not clean, so you clean it up you put it back in and uh, it works fine I did have one STV board where this DAC over in the corner this chip on top was uh, actually missing um, a couple of the legs because over time these boards tend to flex and this corner chip over here seems to be the worst one what it does is it lifts off the board but I was able to fix that on one of my other boards and uh, got it to work in other cases you might have uh, the um, the BIOS itself might come up with uh, wrong BIOS and you have to change around the BIOS in order to get the games to work but I tried many different things with this funky head boxers and was not able to get anywhere on it and today I thought I'd mess around with it just a little bit and um, as an example to show you what it would do let's turn this thing on here when I first got this thing this is what it was doing it said that uh, the cartridge uh, it was uh, operation unavailable and then uh, the system assignments and it also said error on cartridge so press the service button so go down here and press this and uh, it looked like it was going to start up and I was thinking alright yeah this is okay you know maybe it's just you know uh, some battery issue or something like that but uh, this is not a it was not a battery related issue it was actually much much more simple and uh, I figured I'd make this video here to help you guys out if anyone's having trouble and this is what it does you know it just says check the cart um, because there's, you know, improper installation, whatever. So I went into the, uh, the BIOS here, and I went down to the system assignments, and I went down here to alone versus multi, and I put it on multi, and uh, I exited out of it, and as you can see, it doesn't show the game in here at all, whatsoever. And when you do this, it says operation not available with multi-cart, you know, so... Uh, all right, what's going on here? Go back up here into the system. Went into system assignments and uh, let's turn multi off. And go up to cabinet type and turn the cabinet onto one player and then hit the exit button out of here. And now you'll see Funky Head Boxers appears. Now, when you go into Funky Head Boxers to check the game and you want to check the game assignments, You'll notice that it says communication it has uh, off. It also has uh, ID with master and slave. So this is a game that's designed for uh, multiple systems to be hooked up. And if it doesn't have multiple systems hooked up and it's not on one cab only, uh, it won't fire up. So something really, really simple, but uh, it was something that you know it took me a while to get uh, you know right because it doesn't tell you exactly what's wrong with it. It just says you know go into system assignments and you're thinking all right, okay, well one yeah I guess one player cabinet type yeah that's kind of weird but um, that does the trick. So get out of here and uh, go down to the exit and you'll notice up here it says funky head boxers and it says it's produced by Sega and it'll fire right up. So, something that simple, <laughs> it took me a little while to figure out. I gave up on it a couple of times, you know, when I was messing around with it. thought it was something that was a little bit more tricky than what it actually was. But, uh, really, really simple thing. And, uh, that got this thing to work. So, hopefully here, uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow-ish or so, I'll put up a video, uh, some gameplay here on Funky Head Boxers, if everything works out alright. I'll give it a test through and make sure everything, you know, plays all right. But just wanted to share this with you guys here. If anybody's having any trouble with their Sega STV board, I mean, it could be a, a number of different things on these things. Like I said, it could be the BIOS is not correct for the certain cart that's in there. It could be this chip over in the corner lifted off of uh, its posts. It could be, uh, you know, uh, one of these jumpers. This uh, jumper could be off in the wrong spot. It, it could be a number of different things, but in this case here, it was just something simple. So uh, I also replaced that super capacitor that was uh, uh, kind of really rotten. So that's got a new one in there. It's all ready to go. But I'll uh, hopefully be able to put up some video on this thing here tomorrow. But just want to share this with you guys for right now. And uh, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.